The first collection interface we'll learn is list. A list is an ordered sequence of elements. It extends collection and iterable, so you can iterate over all the elements of a list. The imported methods are add to put a new item into the list and it has two overloaded versions the first one with index and the second is without index if you don't use an index value the element will be appended to the very end of the list but if you provide an index you may directly put into this index you may remove any element by index or you may remove by an object example you may replace any elements on any index and you may get a random element by index and you may search for an object with index of method for this you need to overwrite the equals method of the object because this method tries to invoke equals method on all of the instances inside the list and if equals method returns true that means uh, the current item is the item that we are searching for so it will return the index of this item again last index of returns the last occurrence of this item okay and you may iterate over this list by using list iterator or iterator interfaces inside the list object we will talk about them later on now let's return back to eclipse and inside the inheritance package i will create an array list example class to test array list okay i am putting a main method inside it how to create an array list we are creating a reference of array list first and we are providing the type that we will store inside this array list here so we may say integer here for instance and you may provide only the class types here not the primitive types let's say integer list we are creating and new array list as you can see we don't provide any size any length for this array list uh, because the advantage of array lists over arrays is that uh, you don't have to deal with the size of the array you may add an item into this array list whenever you want and you may remove an item whenever you want as you know when you are using arrays if you exceed the initial size of the array you need to create another array and move all of the items into this new array and append the latest item you want to add to this array and this is a manual process and you have to deal with the size the memory uh, model of the java but if you use arrays all the memory model will be managed by jvm automatically and this moving process and copying process will be done by jvm if you use array lists so here i'm providing the integer again and let's put some integers into this integer list by add method okay i'm putting five here and then I'm putting one and then minus six okay as you can see I did not deal with the sizes I just add some items and JVM dealt with the size the memory for me let me show you how to get the size of an array list I just say integer list dot size to get the size of the list let's run as let's run as Java application as you can see the size is 3 so what happens if I try to access an item by index let's say I'm trying to access this index I will use get methods 
if I use get method it asks for an index and the index is 2 because as inside the arrays the indexes start from 0 inside the array list okay so get 2 will return me minus 6 let me write it third item is plus you see it is minus 6 now I want to insert an item after 5 and before 1 so how to do that the only thing I should do is using add method with overloaded version with uh, an index and I will use add method as you can see index is the first parameter and the second is an object the first parameter is the index since I want to put this item after 5 and before 1 the index is 0 1 so the index is 1 we will insert an item to the first index this is 0th index and the first index is here between 5 and 1 so let's put a tier method is add and I will insert 8 here so let's see the size now integer list dot size sizes for now because we inserted a new item so let's see the item with index 2 again it is 1 now because the elements are 5 6 1 and minus 6 okay so what happens if I remove the first item let's see it integer list dot remove 0 that say remove the item at index 0 as you know if you remove an item from an array this item at that end index will be null but if you remove an item from an array list all the items after this index will be shifted to left so there will be no empty indexes first let's see the size of the integer list after removal of the first item size is 3 again because we have removed 5 here so let's get the first item now so zeroth item after removal the expected result is 8 because the order of the items was 5 8 1 and minus 6 and now we have removed 5 here so we will see 8 as the first element here on this line so let's see it as you can see it is 6 so let me search for an item inside this array list the methods are contains methods and index of methods contains method returns a boolean value saying that this item exists inside this array list or not and index of method returns the index of the searched item let's first use the index of methods so it is integer list dot index of so let's say I am searching for minus 6 okay and this will return me the index of this item and let's print out this index index of minus 6 is let's remind the items inside this array it 5 was removed from the integer list so the so the first item was 8 8 1 minus 6 so my so the index of minus 6 is 2 this is our expected result and let's see the result now it is 2 how to get the item with an index we just use get method of this array list so integer list dot get 2 returns minus 6 now if I use a dynamic variable here say index we may get the object here so this is the type of the stored objects inside the array list so I am referencing with integer reference 
and this is searched item and we are getting integer list dot get two in, because index was two and let's print out search item item at index two is let's say search item you see it is minus six we have another method as clear that removes all the items inside this list let's say integer list dot clear this will remove all the items and let's see this by printing out the size after clearing the integer list integer list dot size let me label it size of the list after clearing let's see the result it is zero and the important thing you should know that you don't have to reassign the result to the array list again because all the modifications are done on the original array list so you don't have to reassign this i have removed here and i did not assign the result to anywhere else because these methods does not return array list and they do the modifications on the original array list.